Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support um, that you've been giving me as well as yourself, being able to see our issues and basically, you know, help heal our, ourselves along the way because we know we deserve you know to have, live a life a longer healthier life that's what i meant to say i don't know why i got tongue tied off of that but anyways <laughs> with all that being said much love to all namaste love and blessing love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good info, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation and validation towards their life path or their sole purpose, or even their journey to know if they're on the right path or not, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. Y'all mean the, the most to me. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And I hope y'all are doing good this beautiful Saturday, Sunday. Well, hopefully y'all see this on Sunday. If not, I hope you're having a blessed Monday as well. And, um, the, uh the meditation music that I'm listening to today is 639 Hertz of Manifest Love, Balance, and Heal Relationships, Sleep Manifesting Music, Sleep Manifesting Music to Attract Love. And I'll post that link in the description box below. I've been finding some really good meditation music, y'all, and I hope that um, you've been able to, you know, use the meditation music that I, you know, refer, and it works for you as well. Um, especially when you're listening to the, the video that I pl placed out. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oak is every curse uh, turns into a blessing. You know, which is so true. Which is which is so true. Because it's just like when we, you know, it's just like when we look at our situation of being an empath. Um, finding out all the different things we can about ourselves. It can be crazy. It can really take you aback. You know, being a shocker like I'm this person. You know, there's times I'll sit here and be like, am I really doing this? And it's just like there's times when I always ask God, you know, why did this have to happen to me? You know, it just seems like more of a curse than a blessing. And it's just like each and every day, you know, not every day is going to be perfect. But, you know, you have to really look at, you know, that day as being positive because there is so much. And I have to keep telling myself that it can be so much worse than it actually is. It really can be. Even though if you're not even in a good spot. You always it can always be worse than what your situation currently is and I had to really take that as a blessing because it's just like yes I went through some really traumatizing stuff you know if you've been with me for a while you know the things that have happened if you're just coming in you're finding out things about me as you go by you know there's past videos I've talked about the situations I've been in what drew me to you know making the videos you know I always say in my intro if you haven't seen my intro yet go to my intro then it makes a lot of sense on the reason why I do my videos if you know there's videos I made from my adoption um, my adoption story and stuff like that and it, you know and it really is heartfelt to me I you know it took a lot for me to sit up here and open myself up to tell you my life story tell you the things that's happened to me and it's just like yes that was a really hurtful thing to go through i won't wish that on my worst enemy but i can say this situation has brought me to the point where i met overwhelming a lot of people from different walks of life um being able to help them see the situation they have been placed in to be able to use that as a positive platform being able to take a traumatizing situation and you know convert it over to a beautiful outcome and it's just like I really am I can really feel like I'm blessed even though I've really had some jacked up stuff happen to me I would have never known who I was I would have never knew what kind of spiritual aspects I had on my belt you know if I never went through these traumatizing things being able to help others heal and be able to let them know you are powerful
you know, no matter what negative situation somebody try to put you in and try to down your dreams or just be going you negative, like, oh, you're this, oh, you're that, you know, they're not sending anything positive to you. I let people know, you know, we all make mistakes. If you can grow from the situations that you have done, you know, we, I mean, we all did things that we're not proud of. I let y'all know the things I've done because it's just like I'm not my past. My past is what made me into a positive person. You know, nobody has, you know, nobody's perfect. There's things that happen in people's past where I feel like, you know what, if you can actually grow and learn from the things that you have put in your life as, you know, in a bad aspect, that lets you know you got strength. I can admit, yeah, I, I did things. I've said things that, you know, I'm like, dang, I can't take that back. So I just be very conscious about the things that I say. You know, I'm very conscious about who I let is in my mental circle. You know, if I feel like, you know, you're taking more from me than you're adding towards me, I just cut you out of my life and just pray for you. And hope that, you know, you can be able to heal from whatever it is that, you know, that you need to heal from for the reason why you do the things you do. And it's just like, I can really feel like the things that I do is a blessing. Being able to make videos and being able to be open and let people know, yes, this happened to me, but this is not me. You know, um, and you can heal. If I can, if I'm working on it every day to heal from all these dark situations that I've been put through, you can too. You know, we, we all have been placed in some situations. We all have went through some really traumatizing things that has us to look at people different, look at love different, look at, you know, our family different, um, look at just people indifferent. You know, it's just like going through this situation, it was a very crazy eye-opener to me. Um, being able to really see things for what they are, it's been a, you know, a life-changing experience, being able to see my situation and telling people, you know, whose child I am, who am I related to, you know, thinking, you know, when this first came out, oh, people are going to love me. It's like, bullshit. <laughs> I can basically say that. You know, there are some people that have loved me because of who the fact is I'm related to. And there have also been people that have hated me for the fact of it, too. You know, it's just like, it's crazy how I can say a lot of people say they love my dad, but when they find out who my dad is, they they don't grasp the concept of me and I'm just like well dad I'm a part of my dad but yet you know you, you feel in some type of way about me so it's just like you really don't love my dad then and I can really say that but it's just like being able to hold on pause for the college y'all okay y'all my bad my daughter came in and she had to ask me something but you know we all went through things and it's just like you know being able to say that you're a celebrity child is really hard you know, there's a lot of people that has been in my life just because the fact is who my dad is. And that was a hurtful situation. Um, being abused mostly and mentally and verbally, you know, um, has been an eye-opener as well. But being able to allow people to see this side of me, being able to allow people to know how my dad was, you know, towards, even though certain people saw him in different, you know, different sides of him. But it's just like being able to tell somebody how my dad really was away from, you know, the cameras or away from all the fame. Um, my dad is still human. He's still a person. And it was just like, it's very amazing to be able to open up and tell people about situations like that. Being able to see how it is being on that side of that life of glitz and glamour, even though I didn't have to deal with that. But just being able to see how people look at you and treat you in a certain way when they find out who you're related to, which is really crazy. But I've had all different experiences from that situation. Things that I would like, it's kind of sad in a way, but then it's kind of, it, 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 it helps you grow in certain ways. It has you look at life a lot of different ways, even though I don't, I don't have any negative really thing to say, you know, it, it, anything really negative to say about it, but it's just been a life changing experience being able to put it that way, being able to see how the world really works being able to see it that way and knowing I still have a long way to go but it's just like when I can see my situation and not see it as a dark situation even though the fact is I never was able to connect with my dad and he has passed on it's really been traumatizing to me and being able to deal with that and heal from that every single day you know it, it becomes better even though there's some sad parts because you know it's always like that when you when you miss a parent you know um 
but being able to know my dad is always there for me spiritually I can talk to him anytime I want you know we have that special connection where you know I can sit here and just have a conversation with him all day and he's you know right there talking to me and that was a beautiful situation but being able to help others see their pain and being able to know your pain can really take you a long way and I'm not saying in a negative way it can it just your it's your choice on whether you want to allow your situation to keep you in that emotional hurtful dark prison or you can are you gonna allow the situation that you've been placed in help you heal help you learn be able to help others as they're being affected just the same way you have and you know I allow I choose to allow myself to do that being able to let people know no matter what you've been placed in you know no matter how people have treated you don't never change your heart don't allow the situation you've been placed in to make you bitter you know because I know situations can really make you bitter about certain things but it's not meant for you to stay in that you know when you can be able to see that yes you've been put in a traumatizing situation yes you've been abused or yes you've been this you've been that it's not for you to stay in that outlook being able to say okay this has happened to me how can I make this out of a you know a positive outcome you will find that way you will be able to heal in ways you weren't able to be capable of healing before you if you can look at situations that you've been placed in before and say you know what there's times I said I didn't think I was gonna make it there's times I really felt like I wasn't gonna get over it but it took you time it took a daily practice to be able to say you know what I'm not gonna allow this to keep affecting me the way it was I need to heal I need to be happy and that's what we need to do we all need to be able to be happy you know what has happened to you is not who you are and I always say that you're not a product of what that situation is you are actually a victor billboard of what has happened to you like yes this has happened to me but look how many positive situations has came out of this tragic outcome being able to see your life is being something to experience new things each and every day and not allowing yourself to keep playing that miserable painful scenario over every day when there are so much things you can live your life for so I hope you are able to recognize with the con oh, recognize resonate with the concept of my video please drop me a line uh, you know let me know how you feel about this like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line I would love a chance to hear from you and you know hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and my post notification goes to Brittany Wick and Marche Hampton, much love to you as well. I hope everybody is having a blessed weekend and starting off a blessed, prosperous week. And like and subscribe. And plus, you know, know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. Love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.